It's your girl, Holly Hugs. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you've not yet subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on your notifications so that way you can get notified anytime I upload a video. So let's get on with the Q&A and the prize winner. Question number one. How do y'all sleep with that huge bear taking up your whole room? Well, when hubby gets in the bed before me, he cuddles with the bear, leaving me a very tiny space to squeeze in to go to sleep. When I go to bed, the bear goes on the floor. Next question, where are you from? I can hear the south in you, girl. Well, you are correct. I actually live in a very tiny town in South Carolina. How old am I? A lot of y'all think I'm in my 20s, but surprise, surprise, I'm 42. Where do I like to travel? Mm, I've been to like New York, Minnesota, you know, not many places, but I like to go to the beach. It's just relaxing, calming, just sit out there on the sandy beach, just look at the ocean and have fun. What is my favorite part about my job? Um, Honestly, I, I just, I love the people that come in. I have a great clientele. They make for awesome stories. And I like being the manager because I make my own schedule and I'm always off every weekend. Do you have kids? Yes, I have a 13 year old daughter who will be 14 this year and I'm not ready for her to grow up. Has a customer ever asked you a question that embarrassed you? Mm, well, I don't, maybe, maybe not. I don't know, I've been there so long that nothing really embarrasses me anymore. In the beginning, yes, because they would ask what my favorite toys were and if I liked certain things. And I'm like, that's just a little too, you know, personal. And I don't think I can answer that. And now it's like, oh yeah, I love this toy. You need to try this, 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 and that. So I'm no longer embarrassed anymore. What is one thing that I enjoy? Oh, that's really hard to just name one. Um, I love cooking for my family, trying new recipes, coming up with my own. I love crafting, as you guys know, TikTok, and just hanging out with my family and having a good time. What is my favorite story from work? My favorite story would have to be probably the clobber. When the young couple come in and he didn't know what to call it, and he called it the clobber. To me, that was one of the funniest stories that has happened at my job. What got me started on TikTok? Well, our daughter had it, and we thought she was too young for it. And my husband downloaded it, and he was addicted. It annoyed me so much. I hated TikTok, honestly. And I just decided to download it, and the addiction kicked in, and... Two and a half years later, here I am. I get this question a lot. How do you keep a straight face with the customers or do you? There are some times that I will laugh and only if they're laughing. But when they're telling me a story, it sounds weird. Like when they're asking me a question or whatever, I try and think of something not funny, kind of almost something sad so I don't laugh because I don't want them to think I'm being rude. It's just become normal now not to laugh because I've pretty much almost seen and heard everything. It, it is hard at times and when they turn away, I will just cover my mouth and laugh silently. And yeah, so it just kind of depends on what the story is. And for the most part, I, I contain my laughter. I absolutely love this question. How many dildos do you think you sell in a week? Y'all, that's like my number one seller. So, if I had to average, I would probably say in a week, I probably sell about 30 to 40 in a week. Yeah, they're that popular. Okay, so one person asked, how's the girl that grabbed all the different size dildos? Well, I, I don't know. She's not called me or came back into the store. Um, I'm hoping she will become a regular because she really enjoyed <laughs> she really enjoyed her purchase. So hopefully she'll come back in and give us an update and I can let you guys know how it went. Can we get more videos of you giving your hubby hair? You are so hilarious. Definitely. I'm working on stuff now. 
um, for you guys so y'all can see about some new stuff to try and grow his hair. So, yeah, that that's definitely coming. What's the craziest thing y'all sell in the sex store? And I'm going to completely be honest with y'all. The weirdest thing that we sell is a fist. And it's literally from your elbow to to the top of your finger. And it looks exactly like this. To me, that is the weirdest fucking thing that I sell. Because I'm like, why are you buying that when you got an arm anyway? But yeah, that's the weirdest thing that I sell. This question I get all the time as well. Are the calls from the people calling you at your job true? So this is the thing when I get the phone calls. A lot of people that call me, I remember them coming in. A lot of people that call, I'm like, mm, you did not purchase this from me. So I do get a lot of pranks, I feel like, but I still roll with it because it makes for great content. It cracks me up. It cracks you guys up. So to me, they're real. If they're pranking me, thank you because you're giving me amazing content. So yeah, that's how it goes. And every time my phone rings, I try and grab my phone and start recording just in case it's something funny that I can share with y'all. Do you love where you work? I do. I really enjoy my job. In the beginning, I was a little uneasy about it because it was just so out of the ordinary for me. But yeah, I absolutely 110% love my job. This is so funny. What is the weirdest thing that someone has asked you for at your job? My underwears. I'll save that for a story later. What's the one item in your store you would recommend to women and the one item in your store you would recommend for men? And if you sell pills, what pills would you recommend hands down for both? Okay, so for females, I would recommend um, either the rose or the satisfier. For men, you poor men, I, I feel so bad for y'all because y'all do not have nowhere near the selection that we do. So for a man, I probably would maybe recommend a C ring um, or like maybe a doll, you know, just have something fun. And when it comes to stimulant pills, for females, I would recommend the Minx. And for men, I would definitely recommend the Rhino 69s. Okay, so last question. Um, how long have you and hubby, aka bitch, been married? Y'all are too cute. We have been together for 12 years and been married for going on five years. So, yeah, that's how long we've been together. Um, what we've all been waiting for, everybody that entered into the drawing has been inserted into the magical color wheel. Let's give it a spin, shall we? And see who wins. And the winner is Joshy KY eighty nine. All right, so Joshy KY eighty nine. If you will get up with me either via YouTube this video or send me a message on TikTok, I'm going to follow you back. So I can get your info and send you your amazing goodie bag. I will also give you the details um, of what you are receiving. So thank you guys. I hope y'all enjoyed this contest. I have many more coming. I love you all. Thank you so, so much for the love and support. Mwah.